The mechanic known as two-frame punish, something a lot of you have probably already heard since it also existed in Smash 4. You grab the ledge and become invulnerable, but before that happens there are often two frames where your character is not yet invulnerable, allowing your opponent to catch you with an attack. But is it really always two frames? It doesn't seem to happen every single time anyways, so why exactly does it happen in the first place? Are there ways to avoid these two vulnerable frames? I'm C5 from the beefy smash dudes and to us something about this mechanic always felt off. So we went to the lab and here is everything we found out. First things first, before we talk about avoiding the two-frame punish, we have to first know why it happens and how exactly it works. If your character is falling and not currently performing an aerial, they grab the ledge as soon as they are in reach. This area of checking for the ledge is usually besides and above a character. But there are more ways to grab the ledge than simply falling towards it. Many special moves also have a ledge grab box. If you perform them and get close enough to the ledge, your character will reach out for it. As soon as the character starts reaching for the ledge, the game tries pulling them into the right position for the actual ledge grab. This motion lasts a maximum of two frames, during which your character is not yet invulnerable and doesn't get their double jump back. That state doesn't really count as ledge grab yet. The position of your character during the two frame window depends on where you started reaching for the ledge. Are you very close to the stage or pretty far away? Your position can influence how hard it is for your opponent to hit you during those two frames. Optimal would it be if you recover from as low as possible while not being too close to the stage. As soon as the character is in the right position, invulnerability activates and you are actually hanging on the ledge. But before that, you can get hit and that is called a two-frame punish. Here's the thing though, if you are already in the right position when first reaching for the ledge, the game doesn't have to pull you there first. So what happens is that you skip that animation and go right into the actual ledge grab. No vulnerability and no two-frame punish possible. Sometimes the game also only needs one frame to pull your character into the right position. The right position is hard to define though. The easiest way to skip vulnerability is by recovering from above the ledge. With teleport recoveries that is easy, but it also works with others like the Spacey's up special. Any recovery that can make a character grab the ledge from above can avoid a two-frame punish. Is that worth doing though? Well, you have to be the judge of that. Sure, you might not be vulnerable while grabbing the ledge if you recover from above, but you do expose yourself a lot doing so, meaning you might get punished even before you reach the ledge. Now, some characters can also skip vulnerability without using a special. If they fall towards the ledge while being very close to it, they will instantly become invulnerable. Others only need one frame to be moved to the right spot and some will always get the two-frame window no matter how close to the ledge they are. This is purely character dependent. Is it useful to know? Not really, but it helps us understand the mechanic a little better. If someone's ledge grab hitbox is low enough, they won't get the two-frame window. Now, there is a way to avoid the two-frame punish from below the ledge using teleport recoveries, but it is very hard to do consistently and maybe not worth the effort. You can imagine teleport specials simply as fast-moving specials during which your character is invisible and invulnerable. The characters don't really disappear, they just move really fast to the spot they teleported to. If during that time they get close to a ledge, they will grab it, and if that was below the ledge, they will most likely go into the vulnerable two-frame window. But if they are above the ledge, they won't. Now, if you hold down on your control stick while your character is moving, they will ignore the ledge and just fly past it. And if you let go of the stick in just the right moment when your character is above the ledge but still close enough to grab it, you can actively skip the two frames of vulnerability with no drawback. You are completely unpunishable from the moment you vanish until you hang on the ledge. The problem here is that this is an extremely precise technique. Let go too early and you will get the regular two frames. Let go too late and your character will skip the ledge completely, leaving you open for a big punish. 
On very high level Smash, it might still be worth practicing though, since top players are so good at getting that 2 frame punish. Does that also work with other specials? Yes it does, but is a little less useful since these specials are not invulnerable, leaving you just as punishable as if you would simply grab the ledge. There are some cool cases though. King DDD, for example has super armor on his up special, but not during the 2 frame window, leaving him completely open during that. But if he holds down on the stick for one additional frame, he can instantly go from super armor to invulnerability. Very hard, but possible. Now, if you grab the ledge, you cannot act for 19 frames. Only on the 20th frame, your character will start their next action. These 19 frames start once your character is invulnerable after the 2 frame window. If someone else grabs the ledge after you, your character will get trumped on the 21st frame if you don't input anything until then. To avoid that, you can do any ledge option or even let go of the ledge. Ok, there are 75 characters in this game and a lot more special moves that can grab ledges. So no, we didn't test all of them, but instead I will teach you how you can find out whether or not your character can avoid 2 frame punishes. Give a man a fish and he eats for a day, teach him how to fish and he will eat for the rest of his life or however the saying goes. Anyways, go into training mode, turn invincibility on and speed to 1 frame per L press. Now jump towards the ledge as close as possible, advance the game frame by frame and see whether or not your character is invulnerable right away, after one frame or after two frames. You can do the same with specials, play around with high recoveries, beefy RBs and so on. Knock yourself out and try finding the best way to recover with your character. We finally activated memberships on our channel. If you click the join button below, you can become a beefy smash dudes member. You get a badge besides your name in the comments representing how long you've been a member, you can use our custom emotes during live streams or premieres and you can simply support our channel. We will also always answer our members in the comments if they ask a question. We think memberships are a great way for you guys to show your support and more fitting for us than Patreon since it's directly integrated in YouTube. Anyways, I hope you liked the video, as always, thanks for watching, see you soon and stay beefy.